a great job they've done, actually, even as they fail to educate our youth. Our opponents are using government schools to indoctrinate children, pushing radical transgender ideology on children, and changing the child's gender without even parental consent. Can you imagine that? Your child leaves for school and comes home, and their gender has been changed. I don't want to get into the details, but it's not even believable. Without parental consent, all of that's changing. It's changing immediately. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention with all of the people coming in, they're taking black and Hispanic jobs. The black population, their unemployment is way up over the last few months, and, no, and the fake news isn't reporting it. And the reason they're way up is the illegal migrants are taking the black population's jobs and the Hispanic population's jobs. And that's not fair. That's not a good thing. But that's what's happening. They come in, and many of these people, again, and many of them aren't. Many of them are criminals. Many of them are people that have murdered people we just don't know about. We know nothing about these people because they came in. They didn't have to report. They didn't have to give a piece of paper. I had remained in Mexico very strong. The president of Mexico approved it. I said, look, you're going to have to approve it. He said, I won't approve that. Why would I approve that? Why, am I stupid? I said, no, you're not stupid. You're very smart. That's our problem. You're too smart. He said, but you're going to approve it. And he said, why would I do that? I said, because if you don't, I'm going to put 100 percent tariffs on your cars coming in, and we're going to make a fortune. He said, like you said, I will approve it. it took me about two minutes. <laughs> but that is one more reason why I'll fight for the right of every parent to send their child to a public, private charter or a religious school of their choice. We have to be able to have school choice. School choice is very important. And the Democrats are very much opposed to it, as you know. And I have great faith in teachers. You know, I don't care if they're union or non-union. I have great respect for teachers. They're very, I've had some teachers that were so good, had a lot to do with uh, my life. Now, some people would say they did a really bad job with him. And that's possible. That's possible. But no, they had a lot to do with me, I will tell you. I have great, great respect for teachers at a level that few people would understand. We want federal education dollars to follow the student rather than propping up a bloated and radical bureaucracy in Washington, D.C., which is what we're doing now. Ultimately, we want to close the Federal Department of Education. And we're going to do that, and we're going to move it all back into our states. And as I said, some states are going to be unbelievable, and some states are not going to do a good job. The ones that aren't going to do a good job are the ones that aren't doing a good job now and everything else. We're joined today by two beneficiaries of school choice here in Wisconsin, sisters, Michaela and Leah Lawrence. Where may you — look at you. Look. Both attended St. Marcus Lutheran School, a high-performing K-8 through private school. And uh, it's a choice school in the inner city, Milwaukee.